How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to set up your Chromecast from a computer. This is going to be part two of how to set up Chromecast. Now, uh, it's primarily uh, beneficial if you set up Chromecast using the Chrome browser. So some of you guys may have Internet Explorer. Some of you guys may use uh, Firefox. You may even use AOL. It's preferred if you download Google's browser, the Chrome browser. And simply to do that, you would just... Um, open up Internet Explorer and type in download Google Chrome um, because Chromecast works better from the Chrome browser than any of the other browsers so just a quick note there what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, go to the website google.com slash Chromecast slash setup okay and it will take us to this page welcome let's get you set up in casting so we're gonna click here to continue and so first it's gonna tell you to plug it into your TV change the input which we've already done in part one of this video if you haven't done it go back to part one and check that out first then it's gonna ask you to open the Chromecast extension and select options to get started and that is all the way up here in the upper right corner we have this little box right here and if you can't see it it's right over here so we're gonna click on that and it says currently that no device is found so we want to go to options and then in the options we will go to add Chromecast and then this one's gonna pop up so if you notice on your TV it'll actually have a number my name is Chromecast 4353. You get to change what, what the name of the Chromecast is, but they give you a generic one to get started. So we're going to click on that number, make sure those numbers match up, and then click Setup. And then it says Ready to set up Chromecast. Your computer's internet connection will temporary, temporarily be unavailable while we set up uh, Chromecast. On your network but don't worry your connection will be restored so it's just kind of warning you that the internet will go down for a second on the computer they'll come back up hit continue let's zoom in a little bit more here so you can see what's going on here and on your tv it'll actually say awaiting instructions and on your tv you're going to see a four digit number is going to pop up here so j7b6 and right now the uh, computer is asking you to type in or it's asking you to verify that, that this is the same number you see on your TV, J7B6. We will click accept and now it will begin to connect. So it will ask you to select a network. Choose a network of this Chromecast. So I'm going to put it on Miss Rudolph which is the name of my wireless network. And then password, I'm going to put in the password. And then you can name it. So right now it's named Chromecast 4353. I'm going to name it, um, let's call it uh, Chromecast Buddy. Okay. And then we're going to click OK. And uh, it will say setting up the Chromecast. So we'll give it a second there. Just about at the end here. Okay, and now your Chromecast um, will do an update. Um, so it's going to do a little update. And then on the screen here, you'll have some information in terms of um, start casting online videos, music, and more with your Chromecast. So if you scroll down, we can look at some of the features. Try your first cast. So um, let's just scroll down a little slower here. So we can download the YouTube app and we can uh, cast using that. We can use it from our phone or tablet. Basically, that little symbol is the symbol that we want to look for when we want to uh, cast something. These are some of the main apps it works with, so Hulu, Netflix, HBO Go, Google+, Plus, Pandora, 
Google Play, which is videos and uh, which is movies and TV shows, as well as YouTube. And there's some mobile apps. It is compatible with Apple and PC, or excuse me, Apple um, iPhones, as well as Android devices and iPads. You can also cast from the laptop. So we want to install, we already talked about installing the Chrome browser to use it primarily. And then we want to install the Google Cast extension, and that's what will allow you to actually send web pages to it as well. Connect your laptop to the same network or the website and look for the uh, the cast button there and then here we have a couple other options Netflix showing you how those different things look so pretty much this is the end of the setup part and pretty much you just want to wait for yours to do its update and again it's just about done here so we're gonna let it finish out uh, what it has to do a lot of light going on there and once that is done Let's wait till it gets to the end so we can show you the full process. Sorry about the, uh, the screen there. Got a lot of light going on here. Trying to make sure that the video is well lit. Let's just turn that one off like that. A bit more easier there. Turn off that one right there. All right, so we're at 100% now. And it's going to do a quick reboot and again our Chromecast name is Chromecast Buddy so it needs to do a reboot so we can apply the update that it just had and we're just about there now so uh, it will turn off completely and then it will come back on and then from there we will be able to use the Chromecast so want to make sure you see the whole process just so you know exactly what should happen with yours and there we go it's going to apply the update so it's going to go through another couple of seconds just to uh, make sure it installs all the new features it needs to install All right, it's at 90%, so it's just about done now. Okay. And it's going to reboot itself one more time. And then once it does the final reboot, we'll see. Starting Chromecast, just like that. Okay, so we know it's coming up. We have a nice, beautiful screensaver right there. And this is it. Our Chromecast is up. And at the bottom here, it just shows you the name of our Chromecast, which is again Chromecast Buddy. It is connected to the wireless network Miss Rudolph. And as long as you see that little blue symbol, it lets you know that it is connected to the internet and it is ready to be used. So this is the, the main screen that uh, Chromecast will stay on until you cast something to it. So um, we're going to have another video that's going to actually show you how to use it with the PC as well as how to use it with your various tablets and phones. So look out for that next video. Uh, but this has been how to set up your Chromecast and uh, the part two, which is from a PC. All right, hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video, as well as uh, subscribe to H2 Tech videos. Take care and have a good one.